Hi, my name is Dr. John Tantillo, the marketing doctor. Welcome to my Dr. John Tantillo fa Facebook page. And um, here's a process for choosing a logo. And uh, first, you have to ask, what does your brand name or your logo uh, want to promote immediately when others look at your logo? And in my case, it was Marketing and Branding Lens, a new blog that yours truly will be rolling out with a major news outlet. And I wanted to incorporate my brand name, MBL, with a graphic that would reinforce the lens component or my view of the topic of the day. And last but not least, identify its owner, John Tantillo, so that others could not use this name in promoting their respective ideas. So within this process, one should use the ABC rules for designing a logo, an ad, or anything creative. And um, A refers to the first element, B the second element that the eye sees, and C is the last uh, element or idea that the uh, viewer sees when viewing the logo. So to my delight, to my delight actually, the graphic artist came up that I chose, came up with a good logo that used marketing and branding lens, a lens gra graphic, and my last name as I instructed him to do. However, I got feedback, and this is very, very important. You gotta get feedback from an unscientific um, focus group, which was a friend of mine who was in radio, who suggested I use Dr. John Tantillo, not just John Tantillo, because Dr. Tantillo gives the uh, logo more authority. And so what I did is I did that, and another friend of mine came up and designed a second uh, logo for me. And the question became is, what should I do? I was perplexed. And then I said, Tantillo, you are a uh, marketing guy. So um, why don't we, in fact, um, get some feedback? And um, so I decided to put the two logos on my Facebook page and find out exactly what people were saying. And uh, most of you thought that the first one uh, designed by the professional was the favorite. A majority of people, in fact, chose what I call the first one. However, the second logo was liked by a younger, more creative group, and uh, they also f gave me feedback that the first logo was more yesterday, and that the one that I chose was more today. And so the next question I had to ask is, who's my target market? And guess what? The target market was um, was a younger group rather than an older group. And here is the lesson in this. You have to, number one, know your target market. And second, instantaneously, that logo has to instantaneously communicate what, in fact, your brand name is is and um, you have to listen to your customers and it not listen to only yourself but you have to get this feedback and the process 
is um, this logo process is not easy. As my dear friend, Dr. Joe Santoro, who I went to graduate school with, says logos are always a challenge. And, and, and we, we, in fact, know that. But what it should, in fact, do, we're using this, once again, this ABC rule, is what do you see first? And in one of them, you will look, it was reading Tantillo's Lens. Well, that's not what it was supposed to be. I didn't want it to say Tantillo's Lens. I wanted to say Marketing and Branding Lens. That was the most important. The graphic was supposed to support the words or the type. And Dr. Tantillo was supposed to communicate ownership. And that's the way you do a logo. ABC, remember who your target market is, as well as keeping it as simple as possible. This is Dr. John Tantillo for his fan Facebook page telling you or reminding you to go brand yourself. And of course, follow me on Twitter and uh, you'll be also, within the next few weeks, seeing a new website that I've rolled out. And we're gonna be doing these, um, these little uh, vignettes, uh, or marketing words of wisdom with all these years that I've learned um, and uh, all the awards that I have won, I'm not tooting my own horn, it's just a way of um, uh, communicating to my uh, friends that, um, you know, other people have, have reinforced what I have done and liked it. And, that, and probably even more importantly, um, you know, sales for the brands that I have worked with have significantly gone, gone up. So that's all very, 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 very exciting. So um, I don't know what I'm going to talk about next. Maybe I'm going to talk a little bit about social media and how right now today social media uh, is more tactical than it is strategic. And if we used a little bit more strategy, um, I think that would make uh, social media a little bit more effective. And I know all my, uh, my digital friends are gonna disagree, but that's what we're here for, to have a conversation. Follow me on Twitter, at Marketing Doctor.